Hello everyone. Today's video is going to be a video about a vintage piece of professional video gear that I am borrowing from work over the weekend. This what you see in front of you here is a Panasonic WVF250 camera and made it to that is a Panasonic AG7450 videotape recorder. The reason why I have this is because I have some tapes from high school that I need to get dubbed off to a DVD. And you can see that the 7450 is a super VHS videotape recorder. I don't know how well you can see that. Date of manufacture is July of 1991. So that would make this particular piece of equipment 19 years old almost. And like with many pieces of uh, equipment from that era, it's a two-piece unit. You've got a camera here and a tape recorder here and the two can actually dock together. There's a connection inside. I'll now go over some of the controls that are on the WVF250 camera. This right up here is your high-speed shutter control. And this is if you want to do some kind of cool effect, stop-motion effect, or you're shooting sports. You can switch this on. There's a switch right here. And then there's a toggle, little dial here, where you can go and select your shutter speed. And as you can see, you can do 100, 250, 500, 1000, and 2 thousandths of a second. And then this button right here, the check button, you push this button in and you get a little display in your viewfinder that tells you the status of the camera as far as all the switches and filters go. Coming down here, this is your filter assembly and it's got, like with all cameras from that era, three or four filters. In this case this one has four filters and each different filter corresponds to a different light setting. For instance, filter one is a 3200 degree Kelvin filter which can be which is the filter that you would use if you were shooting say inside under incandescent lighting and filters 2, 3, and 4 are 5600K filters which you would use when you're shooting outdoors and with filters 4 and filters 2 there's, there's a neutral density element to it this camera is set up to take Anton Bauer batteries. It has the Anton Bauer battery mount on it, which is your power connector here, and then three studs that mount that grab onto uh, little grooves inside the battery mount, and it keeps your battery in place. I'll now put the battery on the camera. The battery is now in place. I'll now turn the camera on. The VTR makes some whirly noises. It's probably going through a self-test. And as you can see, you've got a little LCD display here that lights up. It gives you a, a control track time, a battery level, and whether or not your Super VHS is engaged or not, there's a control panel above the above the VTR that has various uh, VTR functions, you know, play, stop, record, audio dub, tracking, and then there's this super VHS switch here. If I flip this switch to the off position, the super VHS light will disappear. If I flip it back on, it'll come back on. And this is the view that one gets when you look inside the viewfinder. As you can see, there is some information status on your left, on your upper right hand corner of the screen. There's your iris status, and then there's the voltage of your battery. And if I manipulate the iris here, you can see a change as I, as I iris down, and then as I open it back up. And then there's that check button that I talked to you about. If I push it in, you get the status. And as you can see, I have it on filter 3 which is not what I would want to do because I'm shooting indoors so I will go ahead and I will change it to filter 1. And you can see the filter change. I'm on filter 2, filter 1. 
And if I push the check button again, it'll verify that. It also says I have my high speed shutter on, so I'll go ahead and I will turn that off. As I mentioned previously, I have some tapes that I need to dub off. This is one that I just finished up, and I have a little bit of space left in it, so I think I'll give you all a demonstration of this camera in action. I'll open up the VTR lid. Now I'll insert the tape in, and I'll shoulder this thing up, and set this camera aside, and I'll give you all a little demo. Okay, I now have the 7450 WVF250 camera on my shoulder mount. This is how we would use the camera if it was handheld. And as you can see, this is a very cumbersome camera, given its large size. And to say that this thing is the light would be an understatement. This whole setup here probably weighs, I would say, about 25 pounds. This is definitely something you wouldn't want to have on your shoulder all day long. It would definitely be uh, do a number on your back. What I'll do now is I will start recording on the 7450 and I will switch over okay the 7450 is now recording and we will now switch over. There's a view of the camera that I'm using to tape this as well as the light that I'm using for illumination. And since I've got this going right now, I think I'll step outside and I'll give you all a little demonstration of how this camera performs outdoors. Because we're outside, I'm going to switch filters. and adjust my iris appropriately. I think that'll work. And because I'm outside, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to white balance the camera by finding something that's white and flipping the switch underneath that lets you white balance. Nice day here in Cheyenne. I'll step out into the street. And I'll zoom in to give you the sense of power that this lens has. This is a 19x lens and I am zoomed in all the way, but I don't have my extender on, which I will do right now. So this is 38x magnification. There's a car going down the highway, car passing. I will pull out and I will turn the extender off. There are some of the clouds that adorn the skies here in Cheyenne today. The apartment I live in and of course my truck. I got a new Tanu cover. Now when I'll head back inside so that I can post this video on YouTube. And of course because we are inside we change our filters. And that is a demonstration of the Panasonic AG7450 videotape recorder and WVF250 camera.